Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to clean your membrane gaming keyboard. As you can see, this is my keyboard before cleaning it, and there's lots of dust everywhere in between the keys and on the frame of the keyboard. I will show you how to clean the keycaps and the frame properly and easily in this video. And here's the after results. All of the supplies you will use to clean your keyboard can be found in your home. What you need is your keyboard, of course, a keycap remover or a screwdriver or just your fingers. You can use that. A bowl. Make sure it's pretty big so it can fit all of your keycaps. A hand soap, a towel, and a toothbrush. The first step is to unplug your keyboard and bring it to an area that has enough space for you to move around and work. Then you have to start taking off the keycaps either with a screwdriver or with your fingers. To take it off with the screwdriver, you kind of have to pry it carefully from underneath the keycap. And with your fingers, you kind of just um, shake it and then it'll pop off. Make sure that you do the shift keys and the space bar very carefully because they have special parts like a metal rod and the space bar has some springs that are kind of tricky to get off. Make sure to keep every single keycap and part of the keyboard safely because you don't want to lose a single keycap. Note that if you don't have a keycap remover, like me, it will take a much longer time. Taking out all of the keycaps in my keyboard took around 15 minutes, which isn't too bad, but it would be much faster with a keycap remover. Make sure to keep all of your keycaps safe, like I said before. I put my keycaps in a bowl, but you can just keep yours on top of a towel or in a tray. Now, from the shift keys and the space bar, there are these metal rods, as you can see on camera, and they're kind of tricky to get out, but you just have to um, wiggle it and it'll pop off like that. And keep these parts safe because these are really important. And same with the space bar, there's a part underneath that. Look at all of the dust on the keyboard before cleaning it. There's even some breadcrumbs, or I don't know what that is, and it's just really dirty. Next, fill up a bowl with warm water. Then, put it to the side and get your hand soap and add a good amount of it. I did around five to six squirts. With a spoon, mix the water well for around 30 seconds. The next step is to put the keycaps in the water. Instead of dumping the whole bowl directly, I would take a couple at a time with your hands, like I'm doing right now. Then mix it with your hands gently. Just mix it for around one minute. Once you've mixed all of the keys, put the bowl to the side. Now it's time to clean the keyboard frame. With an old toothbrush, gently brush the keyboard frame so that there is no dust and dirt inside the keyboard. Brush everywhere so that there is no dust remaining. This process will take a long time, around 15 minutes, but it'll be worth it because in the meantime, the keycaps are soaking and cleaning in the water. It's hard to see on camera, but the toothbrush now has a lot of dust on it. This is optional, but you can use a wet wipe or a lens cleaner to clean the keyboard as well after you've brushed it. Once you're done cleaning the keyboard frame, give the keycaps a final mix and just make sure 
to mix it thoroughly and you can rub some of the keycaps to make sure that it's cleaned as much as possible. Now what you want to do is you have to remove your bowl and your keyboard from your workspace and spread a towel over it. We just used a normal bath towel. You can use any towel, it can even be smaller than that. Now what you want to do is you want to drain all of the water from your bowl. We used a colander, but that's totally optional. You can just um, drain the water by hand and make sure that there is no water left in the bowl. Then what you want to do is you want to fill the water back up with clean water, don't add any soap, and make sure that it's just normal water so that all of the soap gets rinsed and washed off. It would be easier if you use a colander, but if you don't have that, just use your bowl. Now, dump all of your keys on top of the towel and make sure that you flip them all so that the keycap is facing up. And we'll flip them over in 20 minutes. So just let it dry for 20 minutes facing upwards. And then with the towel, just put it over the keys and then press it so that it dries even more and do it to all of the keys. Once you've dried all of the keys with the towel, flip all of the keys over so that the bottom of the key is facing upwards. This is the most important part because you don't want any water on the bottom of the key. So let it dry for around 30 to 45 minutes. And if you want to be extremely sure, do it for an hour. Once it's completely dry, we have to start putting the keycaps back on the keyboard. This may seem tricky, but it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is put the keycap in its correct spot and it will just slide in. Something that will help a lot is on another device, if you open up an image of where the keycaps are supposed to go, then it'll be much easier and it will be good for reference to where to keep it instead of just using your memory. The trickiest keys to put in are the shift keys and the space bar, especially the space bar. For the shift keys, just put the rod back in the slot and then put the keys on top of that. And for the space bar, you have to kind of put the rods in the holder place and put the springs there before putting the space bar on and it'll just slide in. You can watch this video in slow motion if you don't know how to put the space bar back on. This is the keyboard after cleaning everything, and it looks much, much better. There's no more dust, and it looks squeaky clean. Some tips I would give for cleaning your keyboard is to have somebody else do it with you. It is much easier if you have somebody to help you, and it'll just speed up the process a lot. And like I said before, make sure you have a reference of the keyboard when you put the keycaps back on. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in a comment and I'll respond to you. Thanks for watching.